Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and thank you to my new subscribers. I'm so grateful for you all. Before we begin, please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tiami Crochet. So let's begin. I'm going to use the same yarn that I used to make those other booties. This is the mint green yarn, but I'm going to double it up because I want my hat to be nice and thick. So we're going to use that in a double. Um, I really like this yarn. It's very soft. So even though the hat's going to be a little thicker, it's still going to be nice and soft. I have a stitch marker here, but I'm not going to use the stitch marker. And I'm going to use my 5 millimeter hook in and make my magic circle. And the magic circle is fairly easy. Once you do it enough times, you'll get used to making your magic circle. And I do have a tutorial on how to do that. There's two different ways, but I found that second way to be unnecessarily difficult. This is more the easier way. So once you've made that, once you've made your loop or your magic circle, however it is you're doing it, you're going to go ahead and chain two. And that does not count as a double crochet. So now we're going to go into the stitch, into the loop that we just made with 12 double crochets. And remember that chain does not count as a double crochet. So now for my beginners, to do a double crochet, you're going to yarn over, which means wrap your yarn around your hook. Go into your stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, which just means to grab your yarn with your hook and pull up a loop. You should have three loops on your hook. Go ahead and yarn over and pull through two. And then yarn over again and pull through the last two. And that is how you make a double crochet. So we're going to make 12 of those double crochets into this loop. And remember that first one, that chain that you made, does not count as a double crochet. So I'm going to make my 12 double crochets into my loop. You do the same thing whether you have a magic circle or just a chain. And I will meet you back at the beginning. Okay, so now I have my 12 double crochets here. Go ahead and pull on that tail. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now, if you want to put a pom-pom in there, you can do that. Just don't make it so tight. You just want to make sure that if you're going to put a pom-pom, that you have that middle section, the section where you're going to put your pom-pom nice and loose so you can add it without any problems. So now we're going to go into that chain, the top of that chain from the previous row. And we're going to make a slip stitch and chain one. I'm sorry, chain two. So now you're going to make one double crochet into the first stitch. And then once you make your first double crochet into that first stitch, you're going to make two double crochets in the next 10 stitches. So in your first stitch, make one double crochet. And in the next 10 stitches, you're going to make two double crochets. So make your two double crochets into the next 10 stitches. When you get to the end, you should have one stitch left over. And I'll meet you at that place, right at the end of the row. Okay, so we're at the end of the row, and now go ahead and put and slip stitch into your st your uh, chain from the previous row, and chain two. So now we're going into row three. You're going to make one double crochet into the next two stitches. So there's one, and then go into your next one with the next double crochet. And now in the next stitch, you're going to make two double crochets. In your next stitch, you're going to make one double crochet. And that is pretty much the pattern that you will repeat. So in the next one, you're going to make two double crochets. And then the next one, one double crochet. 
And the way that you count your stitches for that 10 times is you're going to count the two double crochets in one stitch and the one double crochet in the next stitch as one group. I'm going to show you that in a moment what I mean so that you're not confused. So now the pattern is you're going to skip those two, don't count those two. Now the next one is two double crochets in one stitch and then one double crochet in the next stitch. That's your first group. And then the next section, two double crochets and the one double crochet. That's your next group. That's your second group. So you're going to do that for 10 times. And then when you get to the end, you should have one double crochet left. Now, unfortunately, in the video, I somehow cut that part out. But make sure in that last stitch, you put one double crochet. And remember how to count those stitches, count those sections is you count the two double crochets in one stitch and one double crochet in the next stitch as a group and you're going to do that 10 times till you get to the end so I'm going to continue and I will be back okay so now we're at the end that was round three now we're stepping into round four so go ahead and make your slip stitch and chain two remember that does not count as a double crochet now go into your next stitch with one double crochet and in your next stitch you will put two double crochets and then one double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch and then two double crochets into the same stitch. So that is your pattern. Your pattern is your one double crochet into that first stitch then two double crochets into the next stitch and then two double crochets across and then two double crochets into the next stitch. So that is how you're going to count. You're going to do that again for another 10 times. So you got that first double crochet and then you have those two double crochets in the same stitch and then those two double crochets, individual double crochets across. That's one group. So you count that as one group. And then when you do it again, you count that section as two as, the, as your second group. And so you do that for 10 times and then when you get to the end you should have one more double crochet left and you put that double crochet that last double crochet into that last stitch so i'm going to keep doing this all the way around and i'm going to meet you right before i get to the end remember to count your group as two double crochets in one stitch and one two double crochets across that is considered one group so you do that 10 times and i will be back Okay, so we're finished with our fourth row and I'm going into this last double crochet with one double crochet. So now go ahead and slip stitch into that chain from the previous row. And this is what it should look like so far. Now you, it should be automatically curling in on its own if you're making the right amount of stitches. So now once you've made your last stitch and you slip through and you chained uh, slip stitch go ahead and chain two and now all we're going to do is just make a row of double crochets going all the way around that's going to bring the hat in even more and once we've made that row of double crochets we will go ahead into our pattern so remember that chain does not count as a double crochet so you're going to count uh, make one double crochet into each stitch all the way around no chaining none of that you know, skip any stitches or anything just one double crochet into each stitch going around and i will meet you back at the beginning of the row okay so now i'm at the end of the row and it's coming out really good so go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch for the chain from the previous row and chain two so now we're going to go ahead and go into our pattern so in your first stitch you're going to make your three double crochets
There is no need to chain here because we're going to skip two chains and go into the next chain with three double crochets. So chaining is unnecessary because putting these three double crochets compensates for you not chaining and skipping chains. So when you make your three double crochet, go ahead and skip two and then make three more double crochets. I'm losing that yarn chicken here. So I'm going to go ahead and make one more double crochet and then I'm going to change out my yarn and I'll be back. Sorry, I meant to say this. Remember, after you make your three double crochets, skip two and then make more three double crochets going across. And I will meet you at the beginning. That chain does not count as a double crochet. So remember to skip two, make three double crochets, skip two, and I'll be back. So I'm at the end of the row with my last three double crochets and now in this last stitch here just make one double crochet and then go right in and jump right into that chain and make your slip stitch and chain two. So now all we're going to do is go immediately go right over into that next in between those two clusters right there. In between the two clusters the three the two granny square clusters and make your three double crochet again this is the easiest part now you just go around and around I do like to make sure that I put a stitch marker in so again when you make your three double crochets go ahead and make skip over into that next section and make your three double crochets and just come Please just, uh, repeat this all the way around. Make sure you're going right in between those two granny, uh, granny square clusters in the middle. So I'm going to keep going with my granny square clusters going all the way around. And I will meet you on the other side. Okay, so I'm back at the end here and I'm going to put this last cluster in here right before that double crochet that you have there in the row in between that cluster and that one double crochet. Go ahead and make three double crochets in there. And then again, there's no chaining. Just go right into that chain right there with another three double crochets. This is actually the first cluster of your row. Of the next row. So to say stay, if you can go ahead and put your stitch marker in there just say, so that you know that this is the first cluster of that row and you don't get lost by just going around and around. So again, you're just going to repeat and keep making those uh, granny square clusters in between each of those stitches. And then I'm going to cut one more time and come back and show you what to do from here because it can be kind of tricky when you're coming around with your granny square clusters. So I just want to show you that portion and then we'll continue on. Okay, so I'm back and I am back at that stitch marker. So go ahead and remove your stitch marker and you're just going to slip stitch right into that same space where your stitch marker is. And that's it. You should have a total of 10 rows. So after row 6, when you made those double crochets all the way around, you're going to immediately lead into your granny square stitch. And you should have a total of 10 rows starting from the top. So now what we're going to do is we're going to continue on and we're just going to make a simple row of single crochets going all the way around. So you do not have to chain if you don't want to, but I'm just going to chain one and go ahead and go into each of those stitches with a single crochet. That same stitch that you slip stitch into, you want to put your first single crochet and then just go ahead and make your way around to the end of the row. So I'm going to continue making my single crochets all the way around. You want to make them in every space of the double crochets from those clusters in every one of those double crochets. Go ahead and make a single crochet and you should be fine. There should be no spaces, no gaps or anything that you have to contend with because we just did nothing but um, granny square clusters going all the way around without chaining or anything like that. So you should be able to put one single crochet in, in each of those stitches and I'll meet you at the end. 
So now we're at the end of the row and I'm going to put my last um, single crochet here and then immediately go into that first stitch, the first single crochet of the row and make my slip stitch and that's it. I'm not going to chain one. I'm just going to go ahead and bind this off. Now just go ahead and pull your yarn through. I'm not going to chain one because I don't like that bogey look. I'm going to go ahead and grab my darning needle. So let's go ahead and get this threaded on here. So now as you can see I didn't put a chain in there because I don't like that little knot that shows up when you chain one. So I'm just going to immediately start weaving in and out of my stitches. I'm going to speed this up so that we can get through it. So just move your darning needle in and out of each stitch going around. You don't want to pull too tight. This is just more for security to make sure that your hat does not come apart. So just weave in and out through each of those stitches. So once you get close to the end or it's long enough and you're satisfied with what you have, go ahead and go through the inside of the hat and begin making your weaving on the inside of your hat. The one thing I love about these darning needles is it has a bit of a crook on there so it can easily go through the stitches. You want to stay in the back of each stitch. Do not pull too tightly because you don't want it to shrink in and be too tight around um, the little one's head. So continue making those through. I usually go in and out of some double crochets, but I make sure that I stay behind each stitch. You can just weave through each of those loops, however it is that you want to do that. So I'm going to continue with this right here, and I'm going to meet you when the hat is all finished. Okay, so this is what we have. This hat came out so cute and it was so fast and easy to make. As you can see, the edges are nice and springy and it's not going to be too tight around the head. That's what I love about this yarn. It has a lot of give to it and it's very springy. If you want to, you can put a pom-pom on top of that, but that's for another tutorial. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook. Instagram and TikTok at Cam Tai Handmade Creations. Oh, sorry, Cam Tai Handmade Crochet. Have a great day. Bye bye.